There were three Spanish conquistadors named Francisco de Montejo. The first, Francisco de Montejo, el adelantado, the lieutenant, which is the eldest. Francisco de Montejo y León, el mozo, which was the boy, his son. And Francisco de Montejo, el sobrino, the nephew. Merida was founded in 1542 by Montejo y León, el mozo, and named after the town of Merida in Extremadura, Spain. It was built on the site of the Maya city of Tojo. Carved Maya stones from ancient Tojo were used to build the Spanish colonial buildings, which are numerous in downtown Merida. The stones are visible, for instance, in the walls of the main cathedral. Much of Merida's architecture from the colonial period through to the 18th century and 19th century are still standing in the Centro Historico of the city. From colonial times through to the mid-19th century, Merida was a walled city intended to protect the peninsular and Criollo residents from periodic revolts from the indigenous Maya. Several of the old Spanish city gates survive, but modern Merida has expanded well beyond the old city walls. Late in the 19th century and the early 20th century, the area surrounding Merida prospered from the production of Henneken. For a brief period around the turn of the 20th century, Merida was said to house more millionaires than any other city in the world. The result of this concentration of wealth can still be seen today. Wow. Immensa. <laughs> Many large and elaborate homes still line the main avenue called Paseo de Monteo though few are occupied today by individual families. Many of these homes have been restored and now serve as office buildings for banks and insurance companies. Korean immigration to Mexico began in 1905, when more than a thousand people arrived in Yucatan from the city of Incheon. These first Korean migrants settled around Merida as workers in the Henneken plantations. Completed in 1911 by Camillo and Ernesto Camara Zavala, Las Casas Gemelas, meaning the twin houses, are two side-by-side -side French and Spanish style mansions that remain from the early 20th century. They are two of only a few houses that are still used as residences on Paseo Monteo from that era. They are owned by the Barbachano and Molina Mendez families. During the Porfiriato, the Barbachano house held cultural events that hosted artists, poets, and writers. In the mid-1900s, the Barbachano hosted aristocrats, including Princess Grace and Prince Ranier of Monaco, as well as the First Lady of the U.S., Jacqueline Kennedy. Merida has one of the largest Centro Historico districts in the Americas, surpassed only by Mexico City in Havana, Cuba. Colonial homes line the city streets to this day, in various states of disrepair and renovation. The street grid is based on odd-numbered streets running east-west and even-numbered streets running north-south, with calles 60 and 61 bounding the Plaza Grande, in the heart of the city. The more affluent neighborhoods are located to the north and the most densely populated areas are to the south. The Centro Historico area is becoming increasingly popular with Canadians, Americans and Europeans and other expatriates who are restoring the classic colonial structures to their former glory. In August of 1993, Pope John Paul II visited the city on his third trip to Mexico. 
The city has been host to two bilateral United States-Mexico conferences, the first in 1999 with Bill Clinton and Ernesto Zedillo, and the second in 2007 with George W. Bush and Felipe Calderon. As the state and regional capital, Merida is a cultural center featuring multiple museums, art galleries, restaurants, movie theaters, and shops. Merida retains an abundance of colonial buildings and is a cultural center with music and dancing playing an important part in the day-to-day -day life. At the same time, it is a modern city with a range of shopping malls, auto dealerships, hotels, and leisure facilities. The famous avenue Paseo de Monteo is lined with original sculptures. Each year, the McKay Museum in Merida mounts a new sculpture installation, featuring works from Mexico and one other chosen country. Each exhibit remains for 10 months of the year. In 2007, sculptures on Paseo de Monteo featured works by artists from Mexico and Japan. Merida and the state of Yucatan have traditionally been isolated from the rest of the country by geography, creating a unique culture. The conquistadors found the Mayan culture to be incredibly resilient, and their attempts to eradicate Mayan tradition, religion, and culture had only a moderate success. The surviving remnants of the Mayan culture can be seen every day in speech, dress, in both written and oral histories. It is especially apparent in holidays like Hanal Pixan, a Mayan Catholic Day of the Dead celebration. It falls on October 31st, November 1st, and November 2nd. One day for the children, one day for the adults, and one day for all souls. And is commemorated by elaborate altars dedicated to the dead relatives. It's a compromise between the two religions, with crucifixes mingled with skull decorations and food sacrifice offerings. Mukbil Poyo is the Mayan tamal pie offered to the dead on All Saints Day, traditionally accompanied by a cup of hot chocolate. Many Yucatecans enjoy eating this on and around the Day of the Dead. And while complicated to make, they can be purchased and even shipped via air. Mukbil liter literally means to put in the ground or to cook in a pib, an underground oven. Yucatan food is its own unique style and very different from what most people consider Mexican food. It includes influences from the local Mayan cuisine, as well as the Caribbean, Mexican, and European, and Middle Eastern foods. I have another video on this channel detailing the Yucatecan cuisine that can be enjoyed in Merida. Merida is located in the northwest part of the state of Yucatan which occupies the northern portion of the Yucatan Peninsula. To the east is the state of Quintana Roo, to the west the state of Campeche, to the north is the Gulf of Mexico, and to the far south is the state of Chiapas. The city is also located in the Chicxulub Crater. It has a very flat topography and is only 9 meters above sea level, which is one of the reasons why Merida has such a warm climate. The land outside of Merida is covered in smaller shrub trees and former Hennequin fields. Almost no surface water exists, but several cenotes, underground springs and rivers, are found across the state. Merida has been named America's culture capital twice. Its beautiful architecture, food, and great location close to beaches, ruins, and cenotes have made it an increasingly popular destination for tourists and expats. I've spent the past few months in Merida documenting the city and my adventures in the area. These videos can be seen in the playlist linked in the description below the video. And if you enjoyed this video, Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see those other videos of the city of Merida, I have a link in the description below this video where you can find all those videos of Merida as well as the other videos I've made traveling throughout eastern Mexico this time around in 2021. 
You'll also find in the description a link to the first time I traveled through Mexico three years ago, bicycling through the country, through western and central Mexico. That was part of a larger trip, bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. Where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Alright, so that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.